right. One, okay. two, three, three. go. go. Why would Timu pay for a Super Bowl commercial? Please call your parents right now because they're gonna get scammed if they shop on that site. My fucking gas tank's farting. What the f <laughs> Is it gonna explode? Why is it farting at me? I don't understand what's going on. I literally put gas in it like three days ago. <laughs> oh. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Squid. <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> I ordered a macarena. I'm by myself. January, February, March, April, May, June. Jason Derulo. Oh my god. In my 25 years on Earth, I have yet to be roasted so hard that I was silenced. Until last night, I was running through the Chipotle line, and the guy checking me through was like, Have you ever seen She's the Man? I couldn't recover from that one. I knew exactly what he meant, and... Shit. You win. Good game. <coughs> and then I go and spoil it all by seeing something stupid like a... <coughs> Margo, you ate you just, on the you charger. <laughs> to the regular plea. That's it. I quit. <laughs> no fucking quit. 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 No Are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why I just saw a man post that if you really want flowers on February 14th, die on the 13th. Hey. <laughs> hey. Mm. Hey. Hey.
fuck it, I'll just date myself then. <laughs> you can do better. <laughs> Every day I surprise myself with how bad I am with my money. <laughs> I swear to God, some of y'all on here about to make me delete this app. 15, 16 years old, dancing on here like you are a veteran stripper. Who the hell taught you these moves? Where you learn how to dance like this? Y'all need to stop. Y'all got moms and dads at home that care about you, okay? Where are you practicing at? Not the house, huh? In the living room for the mom and dad? No, hell, listen. Y'all got a long life ahead of y'all, and y'all don't want these dance moves up on living on the internet forever. I dropped my lipstick. My favorite lipstick. <laughs> Dad, oh. stop taking my food! <laughs> That's so Pops and I just wanted to be honest with you all. As many of you know, recently uh, I had a, an accident and I broke my leg. And I had a lot of time to think about this and I come to the realization that at my age, I need to slow down. There's just too many things in my life right now. My priority right now is my health. We've been filming videos and posting videos for over three, four years now. And we've enjoyed every second with you guys and, and we know that you love the videos. But like Dad said, I mean, I'll let him finish it up. So as much as it pains me to, to say this and you know we love you guys and everything and we've really enjoyed what we've done and put out there for you guys um, but after careful, careful consideration and you know speaking with my, my wife and my, my kids uh, we really think it's time to tag three friends and waste their time. <laughs> Can you see me, by the way? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Because I just was wondering, because I just... Didn't you just get LASIK surgery? I did. How do you know that? <laughs> no, I know. It's like, you got LASIK surgery. It was just a major surgery. It is... Yeah, but, um... I did, but I don't... I don't but usually tell people perfect. that. I just want to make sure, yeah. No, it was great. I really can see very well. Do you, do you take painkillers or anything when you do that stuff? I mean, do they give you, like, laughing gas or something? They definitely give you some pretty hardcore pills after you yeah. take an, have a, a laser in your eye. What is going on? <laughs> I was saying, so post-surgery, you're a little loopy. You know, you have things in your eyes. And, uh, you What's know... What's happening right now? <laughs> your mom may or may not have videotaped you after surgery. <laughs> 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 And she gave us the video. <laughs> For the television? <laughs> Wait, this is a world premiere. You check this out. <laughs> this, is, this is Taylor Swift post-surgery. You were, like, freaking out over a banana. <laughs> anyway, here's Taylor at home after her LASIK surgery. A video taken by her mom. Take a look at this. It's real. Okay, so uh, she found a snack. wanted. Stop. You can't cry. That, that's not it's supposed uh, to be what you're doing. Yeah, I tried to get this okay, one. Okay, let me get the other one for you. For, okay. Here mm -hmm, we go. This one, but what do we do with this now? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It's mine. But it doesn't have a head. Honey, it's fine. I don't need a head. Okay, I'm, I'm crying. I'm fine. Don't. You don't want to cry. Mm -hmm. That's not what you want to do. Sometimes it doesn't like, go your way. Okay. <laughs> 
asleep. Don't fall asleep eating a banana, okay? I'm not asleep. My mind is alive. Okay. Ooh, girl, call me Thor, because I'm about to give you the hammer. Bob, you're so nasty. Um, are you guys f***ing serious right now? What are you still doing here? This is my house. Oh. You're in my room. Ah, oh, damn. This is my bed. Y'all got pizza rolls? Bitch. You guys, this just happened. See this plate with all the leaf paintings on it? I'm sitting here like this, right? I'm sitting here like this, right? Then I put the fork down, and I'm sitting here like this, right? Then I realized the leaf is part of the design on the plate. <laughs> here, want some cake? Oh, no, thanks. Brownie. What's that, a gun? Mm. Why would you eat that brownie to a gun? Uh. I'm whooping your ass. Constantly just want to... I just constantly want to get out of my skin. I just want to get out! Let me out! Let me out. I need to unzip. <laughs> and be like... Oh. And then just like squeeze the fucking juices out of my muscles. I don't even know, man. I think I like this little life. One out of ten. One out of ten? No, I mean rate it one out of ten. Nine. Okay. If your man doesn't hold your hand in public, I think you should start a fight. You're gonna break my coffee. I don't give a shit. Give I like this. it. I don't give a shit. I think it's cute. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Of course we're dad and daughter. My dad gives me all his money. My daughter's. <laughs> no, dad, you're supposed to say something nice. Of course we're dad and daughter. I dropped her on her head when she was a baby. My son said, Mom, Mom, there's ants on the TV. Mom, Mom. Okay, have a look. Had a look. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not on my TV. It's in my TV. There are ants in my TV. Here. Here. They have created a hive in my TV. Pretty sure this is the queen right here. <gasps> Crazy! She's come such a long way. But I do know that you are a good person and that I am a good person. <laughs> I did that thing where um, you take a picture on TikTok and it gives you a sound and I feel violated. Ugh. Brother, ugh. what's that? Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that either. In case you want to feel better about your day, today the armored car guys came into my job to pick up the money and they asked me to find a leader. But I didn't see any kind of like logo on him or anything, so I just got on the walkie and I said, Hey guys, there's a guy with a bulletproof vest wanting to get into the cash office. Why would I say that? Why would I say that? We have quarterly trainings on this. Why would I say that?
My daughter had the bright idea to make her own Valentine's Day cards. We're not buying them. She wanted to make them. Okay, cool. So, Luca, stay cool, okay? Oliver, you're smart, okay? Victoria, you're a good girl. Okay. Connor, do... I was on the list. <laughs> okay, she tweets boots with the fur and she's wearing a fur coat and boots and this person says, this is the first time I have considered that the boots themselves did not have fur. As in, in the Flo Rida song Low, apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Ooh, I just wanna say that I just saw Alex Rodriguez. I could have freaked out and asked him for a picture and like been like, hi, but I didn't. I kept my cool and I respected him. Also, Bruce Willis lives up there. This is my dog and I just bought a Rolex. You're welcome, A-Rod. I want a picture next. Just hold it out like a fish. Hold it, what do you mean? It's 30 pounds of cheese, I can't hold it. Just like hold a... it straight out. Come on. I literally did push pull day today. I cannot. Can you hold it over your head? No. <laughs> <laughs> give it to Remy. <laughs> we don't give our girls flowers. We give them blocks of cheese. <laughs> Want to be toxic? Make a fake Snapchat account and add only them. You can see their whole snap list on Quick Ad. Christy. Glass of wine. It's the whole bottle. It's one glass. Christy. And then it goes back inside. That's nasty. I'm out of line, out of line. I fall anywhere with you. I'm by your side. I just think it's so funny that my face is so bold and then I end up crying again for her fall. My life. You don't get to take that from me! If you think you're getting away, I will prove you wrong. I'll take you all the way. You can't get me What is it supposed to be, Shelly? How much are y'all gonna sell them for? <laughs> the fuck? That is black, bro. Did she? Nothing. No way. Shut up. Shut up. I thought it was a dog. It's a raccoon. <laughs> POV, I'm a middle aged white woman when she sees an overripe banana. Ooh, ooh, banana bread. I can't be the only person on the planet that didn't know that you can just pick a piece of fruit off of a tree and eat it. I had a friend come over a few weeks ago and she was like, Carly, why do you have a bag of lemons in your fridge? And I said, Oh, well, I use lemons in my cooking a lot and sometimes I put them in my sparkling water. And she was just like, No, but why do you have a bag of lemons from the store? And I said, Oh, well, sometimes I cook with them and I also put them in. And she said, No. You have a lemon tree outside. And I said, okay. And she said, so why do you buy lemons? And I said, because I cook with them. And, and she said, Carly, you have a lemon tree. You just pick the lemons off the tree and you put them in your food or, or in your sparkling water. And I said, well, don't you have to do something to them? And she said, what do you mean? And I said, you don't have to do anything to the lemons. And she was pretty upset, which I guess I am one of the very few people I didn't think that I was one of the very few people, but maybe I am one of the very few people that didn't know that there is nothing that you have to do to a lemon before you eat it from a tree. You can just take it off the tree. I am I the only per- I'm 28, for reference. Am I the only person? Say no. Shout out to my fitted sheet for putting all the clothes in the dryer in a damp, twisted chokehold to make sure nothing else gets dry. 
<laughs> Guys, what happened to all my chocolate covered strawberries? Uh, I don't know. I didn't even know we had any. I didn't know you didn't make any. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I didn't, I, didn't even know, I didn't even know you came with those. Like, I'm not even hungry. Like, I'm skinny and we all know that. So I wouldn't even eat them. So it's like, I don't even know why you guys think that I would eat them. Are you calling me fat? Is that what this is? Because I, I, I'm not even hungry. I'm not even hungry. I didn't even eat the strawberries. <laughs> if you ever want to find out a man's true personality, literally just ask him who would win in a fight between one billion lions and every single Pokemon there is, and then take the unyielding stance of the lion side. Because I guarantee you, you walk out of that conversation with a husband or with a new arch nemesis. But the other day I was in class and I was bored out of my goddamn mind. And then I remembered, I have free will. And also a man who sits behind me that really likes Pokemon. So I spun around and I asked him, one billion lions versus every single Pokemon, who wins? I laid my trap and he walked straight into it. So he was like, uh, the Pokemon, duh, as all fools do. And so I said, well, it's a billion lions. Like that's a lot of lions, you know? And he was like, Oh, uh, Pokemon can bend space and time, and they're gods of their own. And so that I, naturally, and I don't recommend this if your man is particularly temperamental, but I brought up the lion ladder. He didn't like that. If you're unaware, a lion ladder is when lions stack on top of each other to create a ladder made out of lions. Very self-explanatory, you know, as one does. And he, the average lion naysayer, the average lion denier, was like, they can't do that. They're lions. And then he spent the next two hours convincing me why the Pokemon would win. And when it started to get a little bit dry and, you know, I was getting a little bored again, I was like, well, what about the lion catapults? He popped a blood vessel. What, this plastic piece is? Like, does it do? Oh. I have to tell you something. What? I started seeing someone. <laughs> I'm being serious. I started seeing somebody. What do you think about that? Seeing somebody as in dating or seeing somebody as in hallucination? People who fan cast movies need to realize that there are more than three actors on the planet. Because I just saw a fan cast for a live action Ratatouille. They put Timothy Chalamet as Linguini and the Rat. Can you imagine Timothy Chalamet taking off his hat and there's just a small furry version of him with a tail pulling his own hair? If you struggle to sleep at night or can't sleep early, this post is for you. The reason why you are sleeping so late is because you are wicked. There is no sleep for the wicked, and unfortunately, we cannot do anything about it. I finally caught these yeah. outside. You guys have samosas? Yeah. yeah. Can I get one, please? Um, it's okay. Who needs a map to help find the answer? <laughs> 
There comes a time in every sour cream commercial where they lose me. It always starts off strong with nachos, chili, baked potatoes, and then they get cocky. Then they decide to do the unimaginable and take a perfectly good strawberry and dip it in a bowl of sour cream. Never in my life have I seen people utilize sour cream in that way. Frankly, it's disturbing and it's disgusting. Stay in your lane, Daisy. You've got a great product that people love. You don't need to be innovating. You do not need to be innovating. How do I... Close it. Thank you for cleaning my toilet. <laughs> Get your stinking ass off of me! It is 1.30 in the morning and the horn on this Disney cruise will not stop. Wait, they're making an announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently experiencing an issue with the ship's horn. Our maintenance crew is trying to resolve the issue. We thank you for your patience. I just like want to sleep. <laughs> I found these in my suitcase. Guys, it is not blocking out the noise. It is so loud. <sighs> what are they even saying? Our team expects that the issue will be resolved in about 45 minutes to an hour. I apologize if no plans tonight have been Two in the morning. Two in the morning. I think they call it the Disney Wish because they bought it on Wish.com. Hey, Isabella, we're having iced tea. You want some honey? What did you say? I said we're having iced tea. You want some honey? Oh, um, sure. You yeah, know he played. He played so much with Isabella. Like if you listen clearly. The honeys, they sound different. The first one was like, hey, do you want some honey? And then the second one was just like, do you want some honey? Oh shit, I dropped my wallet. I dropped my wallet. I dropped my wallet. Abby, look at this. Hmm. Bone voyage. Guess what I'm calling you from? A rotisserie phone. <laughs> and that's not called, but I can't remember what it's Rotary. called. <laughs> I told my wife I was going out to get a haircut. I'm gonna pull a little prank on her. All right, we're all done, got the cut. Yes, I go to sports clips, don't judge me. On the way home to the wife, but this isn't the cut she's gonna see. All right, I'm home, close your eyes. Stay right here, don't open them until I say. Okay. All right, I got it a little different this time, I hope you like it. Open your eyes. No, it was supposed what? to be, it was supposed to be on me. <laughs> Now y'all, look at this pizza they gave me. Look, we, can, we can pass this. Look at this. The toppings don't even come off. Get your friends be looking. Hit you with it. This could be a party game for the birthday party. They, they, this is the pizza they gonna give me. Mind you, this is the second remake they made. Okay, it's burnt. This is. Look at this. Domino's and Mary. Y'all got to do better. So the biggest lie ever told is uh, you're going to feel a little puff of air right before your eye doctor assaults you. We're lonely. We don't have anyone to do this trend with. We're lonely. We also don't know how to edit.
she is. She's no. coming. Places, everybody. <laughs> Are you going to the other side? Jason's out here. <laughs> Why did you laugh? Look at it. How do we look? <laughs> look at it. Be like, hey, this is the wrong car. Be like, hey, this is the wrong car. You didn't say it's the wrong car. Wrong car, babe. Not my screen protector. Did crack it? Wait, I am so sad. Oh what the God, fuck? It's like <laughs> I literally snatched my screen protector. Did crack it? Oh Wait, my gosh. I am so sad. What the fuck? No! Do me a favor. Don't get too comfortable with your girlfriend. We got a nickname for this trip called. And that's a wrap, folks. And then your girlfriend gets to come home with me and take a. Oh, uh, Ben, you should have parked closer. Sure about that? Hey, remember when you thought he was the one? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, how cute! <laughs> what was that for? No! Get that! No! 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 You wanna fight? So I tried to make tongue hulu. I think I've done something wrong. Can anyone advise? Any any help, please. When you pick your daughter up from school, what'd you I make? Need a bird house. She doesn't even know. No, not my backpack. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm with the girls. We're at Target now. Oh there's this book, uh, uh, World of Eric and Carl, around the farm, and there's all these little animals, and you can hear them. And the. Go now. You feel better? No. Then it hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah, Dad, take this order for us, please. Can I have a large fish fillet meal? In fact, give me a medium one there. Um, a medium fries and an uh, orange juice. You don't want a uh, crabby patty? Can I have a crabby patty? Sorry? A crabby patty and juice. A strawberry. A, stra a, a strawberry merinda. Not the Miranda here. So, uh, a crabby patty. <laughs> a what? Crabby patty and a strawberry Miranda. Yeah, we don't do that here. Crab what? Crabby patty. Uh, hey, where's the manager? Your second window for that one. What? Okay, second all right. Window. All right. Alright, um, a crabby patty. Crabby patty. And yeah, a Miranda juice. Crabby patty. So no one told me that the teacher actually grades this lesson like I thought I was just like messing around bro watch this shit Okay, so the first one 
Comment vas-tu? I'm supposed to say my name in French, right? Je m'appelle Emily. Bro, tell me why. Je m'appelle Emily. Oh my. Je m'appelle. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what the rest sound like. Vous en vous Oh! Ça va bien? Et toi? Oh my gosh. Why do I sound like that? Je m'appelle Emily. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just going to send you a voice note because it's easier, but, um, what was I going to say? <coughs> hey, can I get two McDoubles, no pickle, no onion? No onion. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you fried, gay. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're probably not finding love because you're the problem and God is protecting other people from you. <laughs> That's funny. That's your slice of banana bread? Yes. <laughs> Let me alone. Do you mind? Do you mind? Oh my God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, hooray! That lady's like, If your favorite dessert is chocolate cake, uh -huh. do you want it every night? No. Oh. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't call them. Okay, what would you have done <clears throat> when the girls were little and fighting? I'm fixing the... the uh, wait a minute. Here I come on. Jump in that thing. Well, people keep sending me this meme on the Instagram DMs there, wondering if this is fact or cap, if Canadians actually buy our peanut butter like this. And come on, are you guys serious? Of course this is a fact. You guys don't buy your peanut butter like this? It comes in nice little trays with saran wrap on it. We put it in the fridge. It gets nice and brittle. You can break off chunks, put it on your toast. It melts, and it's perfect. If you're buying your peanut butter any way besides this, you're doing it wrong. So weird. Wait, Laura, what do you use this for? My hair. My hair got so thin. It's literally like my whole hair fits in that clip. This is Barbie's clip. Barbie's. You're in danger. Who are you talking to right now? Damn, I wish I had blue eyes now. I understand why people with blue eyes, they don't ever blink. I don't think I've ever seen a blue person. Not a blue person. That's an avatar. Avatar was a good-ass movie. Did y'all see the second one? Back on topic, though, about the blue eyes, y'all just be staring like this. Um, we're gonna open up the peanut butter. Peanut butter? Yeah, the peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> gonna take this off. Gonna take this off. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it, got it. All right, all right, let me get the bread. Let me get the bread. <laughs> get, don't, don't get the heel. No, we don't want it. <laughs> all right, all right, got two pieces of bread. <laughs> gotta use, gotta use feet. Sorry. All right, all right, we're gonna get some peanut butter. <laughs> we're gonna put some peanut butter. I like a, a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> and you are you a lot, I guess. A lot. We're gonna, we're gonna butter up. We're gonna butter up both slices of bread <laughs> with a lot of fucking peanut <laughs> butter. 
No, no, no. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing peanut butter on both slices of bread. <laughs> Brother and sister, when we get a grocery store run, we uh hide our food from each other. We're brother and sister. All your friends think I'm hot. We're brother and sister. Every time I make a noise in her car, she threatens to kick me out of the car. Brother and sister, we love each other one day and hate each other the next. We're brother and sister. I never get ox. We're brother and sister. I constantly snitch on you to make myself look good. We're brother and sister. She acts like she's my mom, but she's only two and a half years older than me. We're brother and sister. Even though you're still a boy, I can still pick you up and body slam you because I'm stronger than you. No, you're not. We're brother and sister. I call her fat all the time. <laughs> Alright, babe, show them the cut. Alright, so I got a low ball taper fade. And then okay. he lined me up. Holy f What the f He f me up. Oh my god. He pushed my hairline back. He pushed your shit hella back. He f me up. Bro, why did he push your shit back like that? He pushed my hairline. What the f Bro, why is my forehead so f big? He made your shit look bigger than it was. That shit's big as I just don't know what I would post. I'm so boring. Do you know what I watch on this app? I watch people power wash their rugs. I watch this one random guy knocking on strangers' doors asking if he can trim their hedges. I watch five minute long videos of people scrubbing dirt out of horse feet. And you don't think you're interesting enough to post a video on this app? Post the video, babe. Does anyone else have a friend that is extremely nonchalant and downplays every single thing in their life? Like, tell me why I'm out with my boys and we're having all-you-can-eat sushi when we start talking about, like, getting your driver's license. And one of my homies is like, oh, I got my G license, which is your full license, the same week as I got into, like, a car accident. And I'm like, damn, you got into a car accident? Like, how'd that go? What happened? He's like, oh, I just, like, I was driving and my steering wheel jammed and I kind of, like, drove into a ditch. And then he goes back to eating. And all of us are looking at each other like, your steering wheel jammed and you fell into a ditch? Like, that's, that's intense and terrifying. And he's like, yeah, like, I have a picture. Let me find it. So, you know, he scrolls through his phone and eventually finds the picture and shows us. I was expecting, like, his car to be in, like, a ditch or something small with, like, a bump or two on his car. This guy showed us a picture of his car on its side. And we're all looking at him like, what? How did your car flip? He's like, oh, like, when I went into the ditch, it rolled over, like, five times what and i'm like wasn't that terrifying like when you were there like what did you do he's like well i woke up to this lady banging on my window w woke up he's like yeah i was knocked out and we're all just like well huh and then he goes back to eating and we're like wait so you were knocked out you wake up and then like what happened the lady was banging on the door how'd she help you get out and he's like oh no i had to like kick open a window because she couldn't come near the car we're like why couldn't she come near the car he's like the hood of my car was on fire excuse me you were knocked out in a burning car and all you told us was oh i got into an accident and then proceeded to eat your sushi how are people this calm you guys know you ever see those girls that like are constantly reading books and stuff and i always think to myself oh like very studious like that's great like good for them you know i bet they're reading about literature girl they're reading like like books about fairies doing the nasty thing what is going on? Somebody told me, they said, oh, you should start with this book. Like, if you really want to get into a book. And I said, okay, and I'm going to listen to the audiobook. I'm listening to this and... <laughs> Tell me why my boyfriend, my boyfriend came in. My boyfriend came into the apartment and I was listening to it and I was like... He came in and I was like... <laughs>
hid my phone like it was my own mother. Like I was in middle school again. My mother, I said, hey, nothing. <laughs> like what the? When I die someday at my funeral, can somebody please take the bouquet off of my casket? And throw that bitch into the audience. I would like to see who is next. I think that would be a good ask any guy to hold up three fingers. He will never do this. So to do this. Hey, can you hold up three fingers? No, I just wanna stop. Get off me. People will never be able to say, wow, she's really let herself go if you never had your shit together to begin with. You know? Like, it's the perfect crime. So see me for more life hacks if you need them. I'll be here. Why did they call World War I, World War I? It's quite pessimistic numbering, isn't it? Or did they just know it was the start of a franchise? All right, this is one of the silliest things I've ever seen. So one of the guys painted this entire room with laminate floor glue. Let's take a look. The whole room is made of flypaper. All of it. I can't do it. My tummy hurt. Every poo poo time is a pee pee time, but not every pee pee time is a poo poo time. Um, huh? Where? Where, where did he go? What happens if you leave a fidget spinner in the shower for four years? 
there's been a fidget spinner in my shower for four years. I have no idea why. I think my sister left it in there. But today, it, like, fell out when I was getting something, so I picked it up and I tried to spin it. It wasn't rusty at all, so I thought it might spin, but it didn't. So then I just put it back on the shelf, and it'll probably sit there for another four years. So in four years, come back, and I'll make a video and tell you what happens if you leave a fidget spinner in the shower for eight years. Can we all agree that one of the absolute most excruciating feelings and experiences to go through is when you're hanging out with somebody and they're clearly like their social battery is through the roof and like they're like oh this is so much fun this is a great time and you're like yeah it was so good and, like in your head you're like i'm so excited to go home and like just be by myself and rest up and like recharge and they're like oh so do you want to do this and this and that and like where do you want to go next and you're like ah. <laughs> you're like i can't do this I gotta come up with an excuse. I gotta go home. My battery is fried and I gotta charge for a few weeks now. Bye. <laughs> Just remember, you point one finger, you got three pointing back at you. So check yourself before you go. Why did no one tell me that you can access somebody's internet search history through the Wi-Fi? Because I recently fell victim to this. Somebody accessed my internet search history through the Wi-Fi, and I don't know what to do. Last night, I went over to my friend's apartment to play video games. And at first, everything was normal. Me, him, and two of his roommates were just chilling, playing Switch. As we're playing, we start chatting, and it's important to note that I'm really close with my friend, but I barely know his two roommates. Like, maybe we had one or two interactions. Right off the bat, I got this really good energy from one of the roommates. Like, I thought this was my new best friend, but I didn't know exactly why I thought this. But looking back, I do. First, the roommate mentions watching the movie Night Swim. And I'm just like, no way. I just watched that movie. What did you think of it? And we started talking about the movie. Then this dude mentions wanting to go to this small town in France called Toulouse. And I was just like, that's crazy because I was just thinking about going there. We just started talking about our plans to travel to France. This dude then goes on to say that he made himself this amazing pasta dish the night prior. And he describes the dish I made myself the night prior Exactly. In that moment, I thought I was meeting like my long lost brother or something because we also kind of looked alike. Then seemingly out of nowhere, my friend and the other roommate tell this guy to like stop it. And I was confused why they said that because I thought we were having a great conversation. But I should have taken that as a sign. Now it's important to note that this guy didn't just bring up these topics like one after the other. They were dispersed over the course of like a two hour long conversation. For the next like hour or so, we had pretty much normal conversation, like no commonalities. Until I brought up how I recently popped my car's tire. Just like, yeah, it sucks. I don't know how it popped, but I'm driving it around with a donut right now. The other roommate was like, well, the roads are really bad right now. You could definitely have popped your tire on these roads. My friend was like, well, you do have a nice car. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody keyed your tires. The roommate that I had all the commonalities with goes, yeah, my dad had a Lincoln and they're really nice. In my head, I was like, when did I say that I had a Lincoln? For some reason, the first thought in this brain was that this dude was magic. There was a good 15 minutes where I was just like, this dude's magical. I don't know what's going on up in here. And we started playing a racing game on the Switch and we all had to pick our car that we would race in the game. And I kid you not, this roommate dude goes, let's save the Ferrari for Mark because I know it's his favorite car. At this point, he is just playing with me. So I actually say like, how are you doing this? Can you read minds? Dude looks at me in the most diabolical way. And he's just like, yeah, it's a special talent of mine. Luckily, my friend butts in and he's just like, no, he can't read minds. It's just a weird bit he does. He can check your search history through the Wi-Fi network. He'll just bring up the topics you search casually. In the moment, I was trying to downplay it, but on the inside, I was freaking out. I was like, he can see my internet search history. Just thinking back to all the times that he was looking down at his phone, I'm like, oh, it's making sense now. Not even like five minutes later, I was out of there because that's crazy. After I left, I looked through my phone and all of the topics I related to with the roommate were tabs I had open on my phone. And there were tabs open that we didn't talk about that I hope are never talked about. But bro, that is so creepy. Is that not against the law? Here's some more emoji combos that get aggressively more specific that you should be using in your conversations. This one's one of my favorites. If you ever shave your eyebrows, you could just send this. This is for when somebody sends something wild to you. And if you don't ever wear sunglasses, here's a variation. Here's a parrot eating spaghetti. In case you need that. Stop. Just stop. Stop what you're saying. Here's a, what are we doing? 
Like what's what's happening here? The life cycle of a chicken? This one's a bit grim. I have no idea what you would use this for. Maybe send it to a chicken farmer to have them like rethink what they're doing. If you're ever just in your mom's car, you can always just send this. In my mom's car. Broom, broom. Here's a full train. Just, just a train in full. Here's a ballerina. I, I really like the way this one came out. If you have a basketball game tomorrow, send this. But if you have a basketball game tomorrow and you have shoe game, you can send this instead. Basketball game tomorrow. Here's a turtle sipping a margarita. I can't really can't tell because I'm trying to see which one I should get for my little brother. But I really don't know which one would be better for him. Like, Excuse like, me, with, you know, the, uh, with, the, so with the screen, screen protector, like, when it says drop three feet, is it really three feet? I don't know because it's like, if it's like four feet, I don't even know if it's going to be like this one, like a full four feet. I really don't know. Because I don't really know. Because it's going to be like a four foot drop because I have a really close home. I have a 14 foot drop max. And I ain't got time for like, I ain't got time for like, I ain't got time for like, on the crack, you feel me? Because it's like, I don't really know because it's like, because it says smudge and fingerprint resistant. I don't really know because it says it's fingerprint resistant. You feel me? And it's like, if it's smudge too, you know, I have a 14 Pro Max. I don't really got time. I don't really got time for my, for my how, how, how smudgy is it? Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, do you know anything about you? You know where like, 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 it's the, like, it's the, the screen protection. I don't know, it's a three, three, it's a three foot drop and it's like, I don't know, smudge and. I was trying to figure like, you know, I don't know I'm just asking a question because it's like, that's a nice because thing. that jacket is black, guy. That one was a nice little round thing. I don't know. I, 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 I kind of like that jacket. I don't know, but I'm just asking about the fruit because it's a three feet drop. Are you about to Am I dropping from four, four feet? Is it really? Is it really? I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because it's like it says easy installation and included. Excuse me, Lady Gwendolyn. May I have more tea? A toast to good health, good fortune, and good feet. Mm, chamomile. Excuse me, so that is extremely bad manners. <laughs> so is talking to Mr. Wenderson from down the street there. <laughs> uh, I must say, Lady Tingleton, this <laughs> tea party was such a wonderful idea. Who's <laughs> good manners, please? Uh, don't tell me what to do. Ahem, <clears throat> are, you are you not planting daffodils on the veranda? <laughs> How's your wonderful husband Eggbird doing? Good, and right now we got married at the dump. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a pretty trashy wedding. <laughs> Where's the caviar, Lady Vidalia? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what he said, actually. <laughs> what if God came down one day and just said, it's pronounced short? Then <laughs> left. <laughs> That's a belief. Hi, man, it's a lovely childhood game where you slowly draw a man killing himself if another kid can't read your mind. <laughs> Be myself, the person who got me into this mess. <laughs> When I get an email notifying me that I've unsubscribed from them, it's like, what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Acting nonchalant and mysterious, but in reality, we're chalant and obvious. <laughs> you call me a beautiful girl. The thing that almost killed Sean Kingston. <laughs> Bro, there's nothing worse than when the G's are up. <laughs> I wish I'd paid better attention during my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to be quiet. I need to be quiet. I'm so sorry. He's got that holly jolly belly this year. Oh my Are you guys God. offending the cow? No.